What's up guys, this is Save Knight, and welcome back to Castlevania, Curse of Darkness. Last episode, I actually did a fairly large wrong button, a fairly large chunk of the Dracula Castle area. I actually did floors, th I don't know why that's weird for, three, four, five, and six. So as you can see, those are fairly short compared to, you know, that hot mess and then that f fucking hot mess. I did actually manage to make my way up to seven because that's where the warp point and a save is at. Everything after that is actually going to be the like final bosses for the game. So I'm going to just save both of them till like a finale episode for this. I also went and got me some uh, new innocent devils like that one right there with bird type. From here, I went this way to get Goldfinch, a southern bird with golden plumage, said to bring good fortune from the heavens. He could also, like, randomly drop money periodically out something. From there, I went to Chaos. Pure rage and corporeal form, it is chaos with wings. Many find its anguished form hard to look at. Ooh, that is kind of gnarly looking. And from there, I went to Black's Death. Has a beautiful golden aerodynamic body. Attacks unleashed by its claws can tear foes apart. Oof. I actually skipped over Rob because I actually didn't bring any um, mages with me because where I'm going, they will be fairly useless from what I need to do. So I just didn't bring any. I actually did make another one. I'm probably going to get it, to, I think, this way. I, or maybe this. I don't remember which way. I didn't bring any of those. The Infant Fairy I actually brought it back up to Urbist and then brought it up this way to Hornet. Its apparent eyes are just for show. It mainly navigates using its highly advanced feelers. And then from there, got it to Comet Star. A fairy variant. A stylish girl who continues to dream the impossible dream of becoming human. That's actually where I get heal level 4. Which is weird because like this gives you heal level one, this is two, this does three, and then four is over here. So there's no way you can get all four on the same fairy. Unless you turn like, you know, this, that, that, and then that into Tiramisu and count gold heal as like heal level four. <clears throat> but it's like five thousand, so unless like you got money coming out the wazoo, then it's fairly worthless. Then lastly, Battle Type went from Magmar to here to get Speed Mail. The features of this innocent devil are reminiscent of a knight's armor. It has a snake carved onto its comb. And I actually kept it at Speed Mail for many, many levels because you can see his um, stat growth is spiked heavily towards agility. So I kept him, I want to say, to like level 50, 55, 60, some shit like that. Just to get like insane agility. Then from there, brought it up to Resets. The light glittering from its armor pierces all who see it. Equipped with ominous blades called Murasame Maru. Not sure why it says blades. It's actually just one long katana. And he's fucking badass looking. And like I said, I didn't bring any mages with me. Uh, I actually brought two fairies. Two battle and then two birds for like healage and um, offense. And then I brought my first birdie, because it has an ability that I need that no other one has, and then I just brought that one just to help max that one out. <clears throat> I'm back in the Forest of Jigger Moon because I'm going to be spending this episode taking on those towers. I actually briefly touched on it on episode probably... Probably episode 14-ish. It's for the Jigger Mood part 2 out of 3. I want to say. Get away, you bastard. Yeah. No. I think I only got to like level 2 or 3 or something. And in case you're unsure, it's the Tower of Eternity. Basically, it's like a giant arena tower. Let me go ahead and turn these things off. They're all maxed anyway, so I will need them. Uh, and because enemies have a chance to drop either hearts 
a material drop or crystals, and it'll never drop more than one at a time. Uh, if I turn off crystals, it actually... God, that sounds very loud. You can only drop, you know, one at a time. If you turn off the crystals, it'll actually increase my crystal, you know, my heart drop rate to 50%. So either be like hearts arm materials at this point. Ow! Stupid pig. Of the like, you know, porcine variety. That's what pigs are scene or whatever. The good thing is, every fifth level you get like a slight respite where like no enemies and a potion drop. You know, whatever the hell that was, I didn't even see. I think it was a ticket. actually think to look at stuff. I could have actually completely, like, not even brought one of the fairies, and I could have brought a mage once I can, like, build up that mage, but fuck it. Seven Bladed Sword. A sword with six blades branching off the main one. Rarely used in combat, but has awesome potential. And uh, it's actually dark elemental, as you can see by the like purplish black aura just dripping off of it. But an effect that it has that the game doesn't tell you, I mean, it doesn't even really tell you it's dark elemental, is that it does this. If you notice as I'm hitting the. Ow! Uh, these little reddish orangey dots that are coming off of it. I don't know if you actually saw that or not. Like those little reddish orange dots coming off of it that like fly off of it and go towards me um, is actually healing me. What the you know blade does that the game doesn't tell you is that it does not only dark based damage or dark elemental, but also adds a one hit point life tap to every strike against an enemy. Regardless of whatever enemy it is, like this, for example, see, he works on undead. Like most games, like, you know, Final Fantasy and like a few others. Anything that did something like that, which they, I think, call like the Blood Sword or the Drain Sword, whatever Final Fantasy you're playing, it actually, um, it doesn't work against undead. So you can't take life from something that's already dead, so it'll actually hurt you. This one doesn't matter. Show off some of its abilities on here, so they have the fly that's whatever, and the caltrops. Which are similar to the um, whatchamacallit. The um the uh well, shit, similar to the um what the fuck are they called? God damn it. Carpet bombs, but instead of the carpet bombs like exploding upon contact, like when they drop them, it actually like sits there for a few seconds and then explodes, giving things a chance to walk into them and cavey. I mean, die. Oops. Location slipped out. And um. We have Sphere of Darkness. The 
of a hall. Kinda ish, I guess. Now, beat progress. Beat progress. Oh, he just kicks the shit out of everything. Damn. Switch to Lux. So, you know, he's like fairly badass looking. I mean, Jesus, just look at that. That's fucking badass. It's like full samurai getup. Whatever it's called. A big ol' sword. And he's like quick as shit. Because, I, like I said, I got him. The speed mill, and I kept him there for like up to level like 50, 55, 60, some shit like that, then I turn him into a reset. So his agility is like over 200. It's like, Jesus Christ, he's like fucking... Ah, uh, that's the wrong goddamn button. But he's fucking like crazy fast. And there's that number with the whole uh, freaking aura blast that does like hundreds of damage. Like, mostly kill anything, like a hit. 396. That's like enough to mostly kill me. No, it's enough to like one-third me. spot that I showed you. These were like new ones, you know. Like you they get just about like a level like per kill up until I think like level like fifteen or twenty or some shit like that. Then it's like a level up every two or three. And then just, you know, at that time R Wave does like enough to, you know kill them. Oh, since we're on the subject of these, like, dead fences and dead barons, if you remember in episode probably 5 or 6, where I talked about uh, this enemy called the Gold Bones, that it was like a special, well, not a special drop, but like a special, um, spawn. Okay, map's not working here. Um, yeah, map's not working here. Oh. Um, at the last save room in Baljet Mountains. Ouch. Um, you have a chance of meeting something called the Gold Bones. There's like a 1 in like 100 or 1 in like 200 like chance of like meeting it. It's like a super rare like special enemy that it's fucking hard as shit to kill and it always drops this like super rare material. Um, you'll know you fight it because when you leave the save room, uh, you'll immediately encounter a skeleton. Well, like a group of skeletons, but if like you run back and forth out of the save, you know... I think I did this for like over a fucking hour before it finally spawned. But if you leave the room and it, it don't spawn and you look down the hall, you'll see it spawn and come and run and right for you. Well, apparently for the uh, dead fencers, which are the ones in red, I want to say, they also have a chance, every time that one, like an area where they spawn at normally, you have a chance to get a Duke of Mirage to spawn, which is a, I guess like a named special, um, you know, 
I guess like rare, you know. I know, uh, you know, version of that. That's like also tough as shit. And it actually has the abilities of both. Like the Dead Baron and Dead Fencer. But, and I don't want to say that they always drop a Light Ring, which adds Light Defense, but I've pretty much always gotten one every time I've killed one. I am Boston. But, like, I've always gotten one to drop every time I fought them. Like I said, I don't know if it's an absolute thing or if I just had, like, a, a really fucking, like, lucky chance of, you know, getting it to drop. Because you can actually fight them in, like, Garibaldi Temple and... Ooh, 35. Damn. Okay. And Garibaldi Temple and Nail Moss Machine Tower and I think maybe one other place? I'm not sure exactly. Large meat, she said. Also fight one in here in the second tower somewhere. And if I can get one to drop a ring, then that would help me out a lot. Even just one, because my was it my the fuck am I wearing? Maximilian armor actually gives me light defense. So if I can just get a ring to drop. That would max out my light defense. Which will help me for like a future boss. Poor chickensies. more floors. At least for this tower. wave just makes it so much easier to like clear out rooms and shit. Is that what I wanted to do? 
do. Didn't mean to steal or whatever it was, I just stole from him. Oh, and there is 50 floor. And we have a kit bag. Increases the number of accessories that can be enabled. That's what you get for actually clearing this tower, so now I can put on a third accessory. Yeah, I kind of went through and kind of organized everything a little bit. I don't even know what I would need. I'll just put Death Doll on. And to reach the second, second tower, you actually cannot... Yes, yeah, so you can actually even see it from here. You basically just go... Hold on, put the right fucking thing on. Put on a bird type that has the long glide ability. And it has to be long glide, it can't be the regular glide. And just glide towards the moon. Come on. It doesn't really matter if you're aiming towards a tower or not. You just have to just aim towards the moon. And you automatically drop down on top of the Tower of Evermore, which is the second tower. And this one, you actually go backwards. You start from the 50th floor. And you fight your way down. I'm going to put this back on. And things here are significantly harder. They can set the other tower where they get stronger as they go up. This one, they get stronger as they go down. Forever kill that fucking ogre thing. should actually fill in the gaps in my bestiary because there's like enemies that I've missed. Still one I missed. Another one I missed. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and oh god, okay. high potions now, I want to say.
that shit fucking hurt, goddamn. Oof, that really hurt. I wish they would have had a freaking Healy item, like, like what you might call it. Might be, you know, restore your freaking innocent devils. does that. It drops a goddamn Rosario when you kill the last enemy in the room. It's like, why even bother? Give me that. That didn't do anything. Oh, give me that. A free high potion is a free high potion. Uh, 
um, I guess. Shit, I don't know if I can fucking kill these or not. Fuck. this one or not. I actually don't know if I can beat it. Oh, yes I can, never mind. Oh god, I thought I had to fucking kill them. I'm like, oh no. Like, I thought I completely fucking messed up. But I honestly really thought I screwed that up, and I was like, oh no, I do need the mage. I was like, oh no. I just ran all the way down here for nothing. All the freaking hearts I can get. So as you can clearly see, this is considerably harder than the Foist Tower. But I mean, it's not all, you know, fucking, you know... All bags of dicks and, you know, whatnot. like this, whereas, you know, nothing. level resets is on even uh, 87 and I'm like 90 96 
like I said, just like a well-placed, well-timed, like, Aura Blast. You know, wipe out like a whole room of enemies. I'm level what, like, 31? 30? Or 24? Fuck these enemies. I hate these damn men. The freaking The Amduscus, I guess? The Amduscus? The Amdu... The not fucking unicorn. Could they do that stupid fucking... The paper whirlwind tornado thing. I'm not going to. Fuck those guys. Drops or something and just get just hearts if you want fucking just hearts. Oof, I'm going on 40 minutes. You know what? I'm going to do perfect to get that shit done. Ooh, there it is, there it is, there it is, I think. That's nope. Wait, yes. Yes. Give me that, 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 give me, give me. Fuse back to against light. Get rid of him temporarily. That is the Duke Mirage. Light elemental. Damn it! I don't want to kill him. I want him to drop the stuff. Fuck.
Oh, that's garbage. Okay, so I guess he does always drop a, uh, a light ring. But I have max light defense. Even if I put down a, another one, it's still, you know, whatchamacallit. I was like, ooh, is that them? Is that them? Is that them? Is that them? Or are these they, actually? Oh my god, see, now I'm just getting them, just for no reason now. Death Rippers. Those are like the fucking flea mail on crack. Borscht? That is like a really good food. I think it does like 150 or 200. I don't remember offhand. God, fucking red bones, god damn it. Be like what, like seven, like four seven or something, or four three. Really? 
I'm gonna go ahead and switch to my fairy real quick, like... To have her heal me. Actually, you know what? I got the money. I'll switch to my Tiramisu. like 90 or whatever the crap he was. Vampire blood, a pure red jewel created from drops of blood from those killed by Dracula. Mark of a demonic king. drops, always drops, a Miracle Egg. That's why you can get that one to spawn outside Baljet Mountains. Bring a, bring a mage type with Purify, instantly take care of him, he will always drop a Miracle Egg. So that is the uh, end of the Tower of Evermore. And just beat this wall down. Exit. And you are now taken to the outside of Garibaldi Temple. Remember, you actually pass up this tower, but you couldn't do anything with it because you're blocked off. And even going back inside, it won't do anything. You won't, like, make them respawn. You have to actually fight down the tower again. But those enemies actually won't respawn. So, wow, that was a fucking... Uh, something. Just Jesus Christ. 49 and a half minutes. Plus intro and outro is going to put me well into like 50 minutes. Just fucking A. Come on in. Come back again. Uh, Alright, so there we have it. Tower of Eternity and Tower of Evermore complete. God. God, my leg hurts so bad right now. I never sit for this long. I'm going to go ahead and save it. And when we come back, since I now have thingies that this dropped, I can make more stuff. And I can show you more secret things I can go do now. Because of said items I have. Recently acquired. Oh boy. So I'll just go ahead and take care of all that next time. So until then, this is Save Knight on Let's Play Castlevania Curse of Darkness. Later, guys.